Concrete 5 lets you override the styles of any block or block area on your page using the design option. Now, I'm going to show you how this works, but please be careful using it. It's a very powerful tool. This is a little bit like teaching a toddler how to use a pocket knife. So I'm going to go to this content block here, and if I click it, you can see down here is design. Now we're changing the CSS around the container, container div on this block. So if there's styles inside of it, they may still override it, and not every block is going to work perfectly with this stuff, but it does give you some handy control. So kind of the simplest and safest thing that you might do is adjust the margins or padding. So I click the spacing tab, and I'll just add some padding and give you a sense as to what we're able to do here. So now you can see this block has a little bit of a gap around the edge. Um, I'll show you some of the other options in here that can make this uh, exciting or frightening depending on your mindset. Uh, let's just change a whole bunch of stuff. Change the alignment on the text and the size of the font. You can pick colors. You can make that bright red. Uh, you can change the background color, you can even upload an image. Um, all of the options that you see uh, are standard CSS options, and they can be applied to the specific block that we clicked, uh, or if you click a block area, you can get at the same design options from there. Um, The other thing that's important to remember is you can actually save the settings that we've made as a preset. Uh, so now if you want to apply the same style to another block somewhere else in your site, you can bring up the design and you'll be able to pull this preset out. So you won't have to try to guess these each time. So let's go ahead and hit update. And you can see why uh, we're kind of of two minds about showing you how to do this. Uh, gives you a fair amount of control, but you probably don't want your website looking like that.